So hey guys, I'm Courtney and thanks for coming to my very first video. So this is going to be my November haul part one, I believe. Hopefully there's a two because I'm going on a little trip. So I'm going to start with the plants that I've gotten this month. At the very start of the month, I went to Edmonton, Alberta. I am from Canada, so that's just one province away from me. The drive from where I live is about five and a half hours if I stop to get gas in the middle. So let's get started with my haul. This one I have here in this little head container is a parallel peperomia. I picked this one up at Holes in Edmonton. So I have this ribbon plant. It's absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful. I got this one in Saskatoon at Bill's House of Flowers. If you're in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, I highly recommend going to Broadway and looking at Bill's House of Flowers. They have fresh cut flowers and they also have house plants. And they have quite a few gems there. The next one I have two of the same kind and one's not doing as well so I gotta get them potted up and I hope that makes a difference. These are two Raphidophora tetraspermas. I got these from I got these in Edmonton as well. I just can't quite remember which store it was from. It is in an Asian market and when you go in the store you go up the stairs and it's a really cute little shop. This next one I'm having troubles with so please leave comments down below and tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I should be doing so I can make this plant healthier. This next one is my Calathea White Fusion. I picked this one up in Edmonton as well. I can't quite remember the store. Um, it's not doing the best for me. Maybe it's because it's still in its nursery pot. The soil isn't moist, <laughs> the soil is moist, it's not dry, and it's not wet. I would say this is kind of like the perfect dampness of soil that it should be, so I don't know why it wasn't doing quite well. It could have been the travel, so hopefully I can get it to come back and look quite healthy. I did have one before, and it didn't have any white in it. I think one leaf had white. I have another Calathea. Mm -hmm. So this is the Feather Calathea. It is a little bit limp because it needs watering. I also do not know anything about this Calathea, so if you can please leave me comments and tell me how to take care of it, that would be great. I don't have very many plants with velvet leaves, so I'm a little bit confused with this one. This one again is from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and I got it at Bill's House of Flowers. I'm gonna put this one down on the floor again though because it's a little bit floppy. Okay, so my next one is my absolute favorite from Saskatoon, I'll say. So this is my chestnut vine. It's also called a, sorry, I have to look at it here, Tetrastigma voinarium. That's what we're going to go with because that's the closest I can get. I even Googled it, how to say the word, and it wouldn't tell me. So we're going to go with chestnut vine. I actually first seen the chestnut vine when I was in Edmonton at the start of the month and I was at a store and I was like, oh, I want this plant so bad, but there's so many other plant stores I'm going to, so I should wait and I'll drive all the way back to get it if that's the plant I pick. And then I ended up running really late and I had to drive home because I can't see in the dark at all. So luckily, Bill's House of Flowers posted a photo of the chestnut vine on their Instagram, so I called them right away so I could pay for one and have it put aside for the next time I went to Saskatoon because I knew I absolutely needed one. Okay, so this next one I have a few of already, um, but I'm not the best at keeping them alive. I have about three now that are actually surviving pretty well, so when I picked up this one I thought, okay if those three die then I have a big one for backup, and that is my Pilea peppermoroides. It's a very full basket. It actually has, how many full plants does it have? One, two, three, four, five. It has five like big mother plants and it has about six babies in the center. And I can't decide if I want to keep this in this hanging basket and leave it full or if I want to separate it and make it into different plants. It was only, well the price isn't down there, but I believe it was only $30 for this whole plant. And here in Saskatchewan, that's really cheap. Our plants here are ridiculously expensive. One of the last two that I got in Edmonton was this variegated whale fin sensevaria. 
Um, I knew I had to get it because I cannot find them anywhere. And when I do, it's only one plant and they sell for about $70 to $80. This one was $70, but it has two plants here in the pot. And if you look closely, I don't think you'll be able to tell, but there is a little baby that's starting to pop up. So I'm really excited to have a third. So when I seen this one, I knew it was too beautiful to pass up, so I brought it home with me. Lastly, from Edmonton, I got a plant that I've been looking for for quite a while. I'm not sure about the scientific name on this one, and Google's giving me the runaround for it, so if you know what it is, let me know down in the comments, once again. And that is my Alocasia Red Secret. can see that there. She is a stunner. I haven't had it in enough light the past couple days so it did get a bit more green um, but when I had it in brighter light it had a really nice reddish purple sheen to the leaf but it's beautiful and this one does have a little baby popping up out of the soil as well. I got this at Glass Earth. And the owner is absolutely amazing. I didn't get to meet her in person at the store. She had someone in working for her that day. She was out on a trip, I believe, but I have been talking to her on Instagram and been the most annoying customer you could ever have because I keep asking questions. But I did lie. I have one more plant from Edmonton and I got this one from Ecoarium. If you've never been to Ecoarium and you're in Edmonton, you are missing out on life. So this is my philodendron biliotide. Once again, I got it at Ecoarium. Um, but the guy there is absolutely great. He has exotic plants from everywhere. He brings them back personally. He'll go to Thailand and all these other places and he picks them out and brings them back and they are stunning. I seen plants there that I never thought I would see in my life. I could have cried when I got to touch some of these plants. So I'm super excited to have this one. My terrarium is currently outside. I had it actually set up as a vivarium, but it got thrips inside, so I have been meaning to take all of the soil and such out. So later today, I'm gonna clean it out, disinfect it, and then just keep it as a glass case, just to keep my more rare plants in, because this guy does need a little bit more humidity. Even though this room does sit at about 65 to 75% humidity. Okay, lastly, I ordered these guys online from North Shore Tropicals. I can't believe I got my hands on one of these plants. I'm so grateful and thankful that the owner was willing to chat with me and tell me what she had and told me how to take care of them so that I could get my hands on some of these. They haven't been potted yet, so they are still uh, in sphagnum moss, so it's gonna be perfect so I can show you how big the root systems are. Okay. So first of all, I have this Amphirium pedatum. Like, look how gorgeous this plant is. The packaging it came in, I should have taken a picture of because you pack these plants so beautifully. And it is winter here, so I was expecting them to be cold, but the heat packs are still hot and the plants didn't even have a chill on them. And it took two days, so I ordered on a Monday and they arrived on... I ordered on a Monday and they arrived on Thursday. It was supposed to be Wednesday, but it didn't make it. I'm still so surprised that they showed up in such good condition. Look at how big this ball of roots is. And they're thick. If I remember, I'll take some photos of the actual roots when I pot it. I'm also hoping I can take a video of when I pot these plants to show you the mixture of soil I use for my aeroids. Okay, the next one I'm super excited for is the Monstera stambliana. I will post closer up the variegation on this plant. It is a stunner. I didn't know if I was actually going to like it, but I had it in my cart. I was looking at it and I was like, well, if I don't like it, I can sell it because I know everybody's looking for one. So I got it anyways, but when I seen it in person, I was shocked at how beautiful it actually is. And you can see that right here is a new leaf. And this here again, like, look at my fist and then look at this root ball. Like, that's a huge ball of roots and they are thick roots too. So I'm really impressed 
with her plans. And I know I'm gonna order again because she has a little sneak peek on her Instagram, so I'm hoping I can get my hands on one of her Ethereums. If I do, I'll definitely make a video all about it. Okay, lastly, I got my hands on one of my unicorn plants. And so it is my Cercestus marbialis. I, I totally butchered the name of this, but nobody even said what it is named on YouTube that I could find that sounded correct, so I just kind of went with it. Once again, the roots are freaking huge. I am still in shock. So I'm going to get this potted up, and then I'm going to put it into the terrarium so I can get it more humidity, so I can keep it looking healthy. It does have here a little stem with a little baby coming out, so I'm so excited to watch that leaf unfold. So I'm really hoping that this leaf comes out soon. I know it's December, so it could potentially be dormant and take quite a while for it to come out. But I have good hopes that once I get it into some high humidity, it will come out pretty fast. Same with my Billetai. Oh, I just noticed. In here, I don't want to unwrap it. Um, in here, I have... Hold on. Oh, I'm so excited. In here, I just noticed that there is actually two babies coming up. Oh, I'm so excited. They're just a little bitty right now, but I'm sure that they're going to come out huge and stunning, just like this newest leaf here. Like, let's do a Kaylee Ellen head test. It's the same size as me, I think. Yes, it's the same size as me. I'm super excited about this one. So thanks again for coming to watch my video, my part one of my November haul. I'll have the part two out next week. If you could like, subscribe, and hit the little bell, that would be great. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you in the next. Bye! Mm -hmm. Does this have a bug? This is a feather pepperomia.